Y'all better not be recording in here. She literally told him that he could go to jail. Run me this half. Late night steals. If you out here supporting Jacob Sarn, that means that you're either a hustler, a real one, or a real one that's a hustler. Oh. Good morning. If you guys watched the last video, you guys know I went down to the Keys and woke up on the beach. Well, I came back up north. I'm currently in Tampa and I woke up on the beach once again. It's a little bit different up here. Basically where I slept last night is not like, I don't know. It's not like a beach, beach. I don't know, it's like a little park with a beach, some sailboats, a naval shipyard. You can see Tampa. It's not as nice as the Keys, but it's definitely a lot nicer than a truck stop. Nice little view of the water, the sun rising over. What do they say? The sun always rises on the US. Now, maybe you guys are new to the channel and you guys are wondering, yo, like, why are you sleeping in your car in a park? Not too long ago, I bought a 2022 4Runner TRD Pro. I got a nice little bed built in the back with a fridge and RV battery. Basically, all the essentials that I need, even though I could use a little bit more space. Started in Washington State, then I went to Oregon, California, Nevada, back to California. Did a little triangle so I could explore the outdoors, go see Yosemite, Big Sur, drive down the coast, etc. Then after that, I went to Arizona, New Mexico, Texas. Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia. Then I drove to Tennessee, Kentucky, went back down to Georgia before finally coming to Florida, which is where we are now. Not sure if I'm gonna hit any new states in this episode since we have to go back up to Atlanta for ThriftCon. While I was here, I figured I might as well spend one more day thrifting because there's no bins in Atlanta. And that is where we're headed right now, the Goodwill Bins. Now, if you're wondering why I'm going from the beach to the bins, the Goodwill bins that is, so I can go thrifting is because I am taking the stuff that I thrift from state to state and selling it online. A lot of the stuff that I'm selling while I am on the road is going to be sold on whatnot. My whatnot is thriftro, T-H-R-I-F-T-R-O-W, just like my thrift resale page on Instagram. I will leave a link to my whatnot in the description down below. If you use that link, you will get $15 off your first purchase. I will also leave a link to my Instagram, thriftro, and my personal Instagram if you want to stay up to date with my travels. Anyways, let's get inside. Anything? Fuck no, this place. Giving out dollars and handies. Crazy. <laughs> oh, oh. oh keep that. that boy. <laughs> Girl, beaming an idiot. But why do they put all these stupid bins here, bro? It's a hack. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm here to sag, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Don't eat it. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, yeah, go down the line every okay, time. Okay. All right, you got it, you got it. I say right foot creep, oh, I'm walking with that eater. Look around, stay low, make sure they don't see you. <laughs> Y'all better not be recording in here. Yo, yo, chill, chill, chill. <laughs> That might have been the funniest Goodwill experience I've had on the road. This dude I met in there was recording his homies and this Goodwill employee came up to him like yelling, you can't record in here. Most Goodwills don't really care if you record as long as you don't record the employees. She literally told him that he could go to jail. Yo, what you in here for? Double murder, what about you? I'm recording the Goodwill. Billy Badass over here. I'm literally sitting right across from him like, yeah, you better not record. <laughs> you said these are all 10. Would you do 240 for these and these? Is this like a custom? Yeah, it was this like streetwear brand I used to fuck with. So this is like a showroom next to the barbershop. That's mm -hmm. tight. Damn, ICP too. All right, man, I appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate you. I got some cool pieces for sure. Oh, yeah, you got some good shit in here. You got some good taste, my boy. Thank you, my guy. I just ran a whatnot live outside my man's crib. I appreciate you. These are all the items I have to ship. I do not have time to ship them right now, so we're going to have to ship them once we get back. These got to go in there. I still got... Ugh, another little pack and uh yeah i gotta hit the road hopefully go say goodbye to my uncle 
Desi, and it's actually like two Desis because it's my uncle Desi and then my cousin Desi that I have not seen in like literally forever. And it's crazy because I'm like looking at him and he looks exactly the same, just taller than me. <laughs> back in Georgia. Georgia. Anyways, I started to leave last night after I said goodbye to my uncle and my cousin. After about like a two hours of driving, I realized that I left my wallet, so I had to turn around. I got back into Tampa at like two in the morning, woke up at five and hit the road. I uh, took a quick little nap to uh, enjoy the sunrise. I am currently at a Goodwill outlet location, several hours away from Atlanta. I'm gonna try to hit a couple rows before uh, finishing my drive up north. I am so freaking tired, but I'm still glad that I stopped to go see my uncle. I believe it was episode seven. I'm proud of what you do on YouTube, man. You're one of the few in our family that made something out of yourself. Did you ever expect something like this? Absolutely. I feel like I wake up every day and I'm like, how is this my reality? It's really cool hearing my Uncle Desi say he's proud of me because like my uncles have always been kind of like hard, especially my Uncle Desi, he's just kind of like a, a hard ass. And so having him tell me that really means a lot. For me, it's something I can look back at and just kind of appreciate that moment in my life. Anyways, I'm not gonna get all sentimental with y'all. We need to get in and uh, hopefully find some heat at the Goodwill bins. Precious in the building. See you at their time. Are you leaving? Yes, sir. Because there's nothing in here. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I gotta go home. I need to leave. This is too many empty rows. I get discouraged. I gotta. I gotta leave. Y'all yeah, be safe. All right, man. The day before ThriftCon, and I'm already spending too much money, like an insane I'm amount of money. of money. He actually might have spent more than me. He's got some bangers in here. I got some bangers in here. All these are actually gonna be sold tomorrow at a whatnot booth, and they're all gonna be sold for steel. So basically, he's actually losing money on a lot of these pieces. We got what the MC Escher. What else we got? Gonna catch us tomorrow. Whatnot booth, ThriftCon Atlanta. Damn right. And they're gonna be running lives all day. I'm running a 30-minute set with them where I'm gonna be selling a plethora of tees. He told me to bring like 20 to 30. I got like 40 to 50. We're going overboard. We're going out with a bang, right? Are we able to extend it if we yeah. need to? Yeah. Definitely. Okay, fire. Because I got a lot of stuff I got to sell. I also got to make up for the personals I bought. I bought this. This one wasn't too expensive, but this right here was extremely pricey, and overboard. I'm not selling it. Definitely a banger. And then, of course, there was one other one, but where did I put my Anarchy tea? Did I already lose a tea? I think it's in there. I hope to God it's... On the hey, on the ground for real? Yeah, Yo, <laughs> that's like a serious problem with the travels. I spent a lot of money on that shirt, but it fits me so good. It's got your boy looking buff. I think there was one other tee that I bought, but I don't know where I put that one either. ThriftCon Atlanta, whatnot, Faded Show, Disorder. Thrift Row, a lot of collaborations going on today. It's been a pleasure. This is the first time officially meeting you. Yep. I'm always watching your shows. Dude, so absolute pleasure to meet you. Me and Jacob been absolutely killing it for the past 48 hours in Atlanta, and we got another 48 to go, baby. Yes, sir. <laughs> I am currently at the Atlanta Exposition Center for ThriftCon. There is a sea of Ikea bags and Carhartts just waiting to get inside and find some vintage fire. Now I'm an hour and a half early. I wanted to come early so that way I could one, try to find some stuff to buy before other people get in, and two, I need to set up because I have a whatnot set today. This is some of the stuff that I got for my set. Normally on whatnot, I start everything at a dollar. For those of you guys that don't know what whatnot is, whatnot is a live auction platform where you can buy and sell used goods. Well, actually you can buy and sell used goods, new goods, collectibles, Pokemon cards, vintage jewelry, all sorts of things really. They have a plethora of things that people can buy and sell on there. Now, I am selling in collaboration with another user on Whatnot, which you guys met yesterday. So I'm basically gonna let him pick all the prices that he wants to sell since it's mostly gonna be his people watching. As always, top link in the description down below will be a link to my Whatnot. If you use that link, you will get $15 off your first purchase. And there are plenty of things that you can buy for $15. So even if you don't have any money to spend, there's no reason not download it because you can literally get something for free. Now it is cold, so your boy is going to uh take this shit inside. And I'm not to swallow it alone. Tea 
He's everywhere. Pulled to the trade pit. Shout out my guy. Appreciate you. Got some good deals. I got all three of these for 200 buckarooskies. I appreciate you, man. This right here is probably going to be a personal. Absolute banger right here. Some minor flaws, but overall, pretty nice fade. Single stitch. Body count. Little iced tea joint. This guy brought out some bangers. I saw him earlier. Man, my guy's got some crazy shit out. I just got to say, like, the people in Atlanta have probably the coolest style that I've seen. We got live whatnot. I get to show Wes some of my pickups. Look at this. I got this, this, and then one other tee for like 200. You guys restock? Yeah, we did, bro. You were supposed to take, take me. I was just about to take you right now. All right, when's the next restock? Next restock will be after these people cook, and I will definitely, I'll call you. All right, give me like five, I, ten I, minute I advance. All right. I'm sorry, bro. I got caught up. My man's on his throne. <laughs> hey, when you're 5'5", five, five, you need it. <laughs> bro, I, feel you, I feel your pain. We got Jesus behind me. Once again, Jesus, take the wheel. Oh, did I really? Oh, thank you so much. I love you guys. Thank you. That would have been bad. All right, now we got to see if I can cut this line. Yo. I was sourcing. Nah, man. I was sourcing. That's what they always say. I was sourcing. They, they always say that? They always say that? They always say they were there, sourcing? Bro. It's like after everything we've been through, bro. Like, we was there from the first, the jump, bro. Back <laughs> when they started to throw with Paul Cantu type beat. You know what I'm saying? Back in the Ikea days. No, back in the Ikea yes, days. Yes, sir. Oh, big love, man. If you out here supporting Jacob Sar, that means that you're either a hustler, a real one, or a real one that's a hustler. Hey. So I just want to say, shout out to y'all, man. I hope y'all get your bag. Hope you get your dreams. And I hope you get your ambitions. Big love to all y'all, your family everybody that you care about and love and honestly big up to your haters too because they couldn't do it like y'all hey, much love bro always <laughs> yo my guy got such good energy bro i appreciate you man <laughs> hey dude i'm so it's an honor bro it's an honor bro it's an honor. yo thank much you. love bro I'm real for real. Weird. I'm sorry. no thank you for the support man i love your hey, energy bro. man thank you bro hey man yeah. listen jacob star is, is you raised me bro you raised hey me. man i appreciate that <laughs> my guy in the building oh live in the flesh yo this jacket's nutty yeah bro. it's reversible it's reversible that's sure. tight it's cool though because i've been traveling the country i've met a lot of people that are like from around this area so i actually know like a good amount of people that are here vending buying sourcing etc etc jacob star vintage packs jacob star just bought out all the hampers i bought everything no more clothes available y'all shop with the star life Y'all shop with VP. She was packed the whole time. Yeah, bro, I didn't expect it. Honestly, bro, I didn't expect it. Bro. Yo, homie just pulled up, and he was like, yo, I want to give you a little something. This is actually sick. Looks like a Rap Fink art yeah, on there. Die. That's tight. I think it's tagged a large boxy of shit. Thank you so much. Yo, that's love. You got like a vintage page? All right, after the homie gave me this shirt, he asked if I wanted to go through the bag. So, of course, we did. I bought all these for 250 bucks. The Freak Nick, bout it, bout it with the FUBU logo. Shot my brother Paul Cantu. FUBU Boys for life. Then we got some NASCAR joints, the New York Yankees. Look at this one the Black Knight and then the fade on this Dale. Woo! Praise hell, praise Dale, as my brother Paul Cantu would say. Appreciate you once again. Yes, Thank you so you. much, man. Oh, is it true that my live got pushed back to 445? Yeah. Thank you, baby Jesus, because I got shit I gotta do. Maybe. Hey, hey! Actually, maybe not. Next live. Alright, so we got this corn tea on our <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Look at this tea. Sex instructor, first lessons. Damn! Okay, What's up? Fine. Yeah, I got some good stuff. <laughs> man, the homie knew the city, Tacoma. Oh, vintage, man, I'm out here with hype. Hey, you man. A lot of good stuff, guys. Man, you're hella tall. <laughs> man. Yo, I got a mob, but that's what I say. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta I, I gotta do this little Hold live. On, you text me. Yeah, yeah, I text you. Playlist is so random here. I swear they played every genre of music. I'm trying to rush back to the uh, whatnot booth. Let's see how much money I can make in 30 minutes on a whatnot live. All right, last four items on the rack. You're cheeked up, guys, or thank you. I just got done with the live. Now I'm trying to go through and uh, hopefully hit some low balls. How's the show for you? What? You sell a lot of stuff? Yeah, I did, man. It was good. One good day's at work, man. My man was in Orlando all week hustling, sourcing. Yes, sir. Down, See you man. soon. Yes, sir. Yo, uh, run me this half. Late night steals. Do 3250. 32, That's half. Run you 40. 35. 40. 35. 40, In the middle, 3750. Can't, can't do it. 3750. We're $2.50 cents away right now. You know, I'm gonna stand on that $2. That's not $2, it's $2.50. <laughs> I'm standing even on the 50 cents. $2.50. Run 40 and we can shake on it right now. We can shake on 3750. I made you in the middle. I came up twice now. I came up twice. Uh, you came down once. You know what? Let's do it. All right. 
Appreciate you, my guy. Now run me the Freak Nicks half yeah. off, too. <laughs> you said you'd do 120? I'd probably stay at like 300 on that. That's not firm. So that means that means we can work. That means we can work. My guy, what up? Where's your booth at? You already set up? Bro, I swear to God, I've been walking around all day and I didn't see you. Bro. Why didn't you wave me down? <laughs> Bro, you were focused. I'm Bro, you should have just been like. Ooh, it's cold as fuck. This guy, I was looking for you because I was like, man, I didn't get to say what's up. Did you vend? No, I figured I would just help people set That's their trading packs pick. up all day. I'm glad you're not vending because you're a scammer, dog. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Thriftcon came over with a sheet of paper and their questionnaire. And they were asking some like, what's your favorite thing about vintage? Why? What got you into vintage? I want you to know this. That entire interview was based on Kent. No, for real? <laughs> hey, do a kickflip, pussy. Pussy. I've known you probably longer than 95% of the people in this building. Oh, he knew me before the scars. Before the scores. Before the body got strong. Yeah. Hey, before the mind got strong. Damn, you got everything packed up. Are you leaving those uh, DJ mics with me? With you. Yeah, I thought you were. I thought those were going to the Jacob Star Foundation. Man, my guy's got titties on his jeans. I forgot to say this yesterday, but my man got the Cookie Monster skinned Birkenstocks. I had the Marnies on yesterday, though. I don't know exactly what I made yet in that 30 minutes, but I appreciate you. It was definitely something good. Yeah, man, yeah, I'm excited. Good. I'm we're excited. Gonna find out later. Damn. Goodbye, Thriftcon. Man, it's been fun. I need to shave this ugly ass pubic hair off my face. Oh, I can see my beautiful truck from here. Just look at some of these beauties. I got some personals. I also got some items that I'm gonna resell even though this one I might wait. Speaking of orders, I have all the orders from the last Whatnot Live package and ready to go. So if you purchase something, you will receive your shipment shortly. I'm hoping to get a video ready for next week. I try to drop a video every Wednesday. I might miss next week or at least one of the weeks coming up because I'm going to be selling a lot on Whatnot. I have so much product here at Harrison's Warehouse. I plan on going live on Whatnot right after this video goes live. And then also tomorrow, I have a Whatnot Live that is currently scheduled so make sure you follow me on there. Like I said earlier in the video, top link in the description. All of the auctions that I run while I am here will start off at $1. And if you use that link to sign up, you will get $15 off your first purchase. Whatnot is a live auction platform where I am able to run a live stream while auctioning off the stuff that I find in the thrift store and just at these events like flea markets and thrift con, etc. Etc. Now, speaking of some of the pieces that I've been finding, I will first go over the pieces that I am not gonna sell. First piece that I copped was this Ramones tee. Now, I didn't talk too much about this piece, but I love the smoky fade, single stitch. It's on the top heavy tag. It's in pretty good condition. I don't believe there are any like noticeable holes. I think there's a little, yeah, yeah, there you are. Little tiny pinhole right there. I will say I did pay basically market for this, which I don't normally like to do, but I always say if the fit is perfect, the fade is perfect, and there are no flaws whatsoever, sometimes I don't really mind paying up. Next up, we have the Sound Garden tee. Now, this is one that ranges in price, but it's a pretty expensive one normally. It usually ranges on eBay anywhere from $700 to like $900. I don't recommend paying that much. However, I got it for $300, bucks, which is a pretty good deal, and I already got a couple people trying to hit me up and offer me more than what I paid. It's on a Brockham, size extra large. Being from the Pacific Northwest, just like 30, 40 minutes south of Seattle, I got love for Soundgarden. Uh, Chris Cornell is an amazing vocalist. Happy to add that to the collection. I do not plan on selling it, even though I do wish it fit a little bit more snug. I don't know. I wish it fit like some of the other tees that I'm going to show you. Like for example, this body count. I've seen body count tees before. However, this one's kind of cool because it just has the spell out and I couldn't find this exact one. For those of you guys that do not know, body count is a metal band. I don't know if it was formed by him, but the vocalist was Ice-T. So kind of interesting. Uh, they also had a pretty controversial song, but yeah, I kind of like this one because it's a little bit more simple. That tee and this Anarchy tee fit me amazing. I definitely pay too much for this, more than what I would normally recommend, but man, the fit is absolutely perfect. There is a little bit of a flaw right here. It's a pretty decent sized hole, similar to the size of the hole on the Sound Garden, but just like on the front of that Sound Garden and the side of this Anarchy tee, it's not something that I can't stitch up or repair. It feels like an 80s tee and the tag looks like a thinner 80s tag. It's super thin, super faded, just exactly how 
I like my tees to fit. I got this one as a gift. Shout out to the homie, I do appreciate you. There are some stains and some holes throughout, which I do not mind. I actually really like the graphic on his shirt as well. Similar looking graphic to like a rat fink. It seems like in almost every single episode, someone gives me something cool, so I do appreciate all you guys. This one I didn't record, but it is a Lollapalooza 1993. The colors on this are crazy. I might end up selling this one just because I already bought quite a few personals. Now, moving to the ones that I will probably end up selling, we have this Pearl Jam. This Almond Brothers is fire. This is the one I copped at the very end of the video. Summer Tour 1992. As you can see, he had $75 on it. Shout out to the homie, man. I'm usually hesitant to lowball people, but I kind of like doing that. I don't want someone to think I'm just being an asshole, but that's, at the end of the day, what you're supposed to do. They have it priced at the highest price they want to get. And as someone who is a seller, it is my job to try to get the lowest possible price. Usually whenever people say like, oh, what do you want to pay? I tell them like, bro, I want it for free. I Ideally. But yeah, man, I got this for $37 and 50 cents towards the end of the event. I walked up and I was like, yo, give it to me for half. I did get this Freak Nick tee in this video with the FUBU logo. Don't be a player hater, Atlanta, Georgia. The only thing that I don't like about this tee is the contrast collar. But other than that, this tee is so sick. You guys have been subscribed to the channel way, way back. Before I even did Supreme content when I was doing trips to the thrift with my bro Paul Cantu, you already know we were rocking the FUBU boys movement and I appreciate everyone who remembers those times. I got these two black label tees when I was down in Florida. This one's just kind of funny. It's morphine time. <laughs> this is another one I didn't get to record, but I did cop down in Florida as well before coming up to Georgia. It says Zuma Shroom. I have quite a few of these like dog eat dog drug tees. I am thinking about doing like a drug tea live on whatnot. <laughs> and then I got these NASCAR tees. This one right here, I've actually found this one time in the bins, but this one has a super sick fade all over print. And then of course, this one right here, this is a pretty popular one, the Black Knight Insane print with the thunder. Sorry, not thunder, lightning. And probably my favorite NASCAR tee, even though it's not a black one, the Kodak, not Kodak Black, Kodak Film. You already know on my little film camera, I've been using Kodak Portra film lately. But yeah, man, this is super, Sick. Anyways, I got a bunch of other pieces, but I don't want to sit here and go over each and every piece because like I have said before, I get a lot of stuff in these videos. Thank you guys for the support. Please take a second. If you have made it this far, like the video. Show some love in the comments. If you have watched the video all the way through, comment FUBU boys. Shout out to everyone that commented your father on the last video. I do appreciate all you guys. It's insane to see how many people watch all these videos and even just meeting people that watch these videos on the road. Like that's amazing to me. So thank you guys for every single person that shows love, that supports what I do because like I have said in almost every video since the conception of this channel I would not be shit without you guys so thank you that's everything I'll see you guys in the next episode as always keep living the star life peace hey bitch holla when you feel this fresh up out the county tell them hoes to get up on me I was in that motherfucker with some killers Yeah.